Now to our breaking news. The Supreme Court striking down affirmative action in college admissions. Schools now forced to come up with new ways to bring diversity to their campuses. CBS 2's Natalie Brand has reaction to that decision from the Supreme Court. Jim and Marie, colleges and universities worry today's ruling could lead to a significant drop in the enrollment of minority students. But the schools have also been bracing for this outcome and looking for alternative ways to boost diversity on campus. Demonstrators gathered outside the Supreme Court Thursday after justices ruled race conscious admissions programs at Harvard and the University of North Carolina violate the Equal Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment. I know today's court decision is a severe disappointment to so many people, including me, but we cannot let the decision be a permanent setback for the country. Activists who argued the university's affirmative action policies discriminated against white and Asian American applicants hailed the ruling as a victory. From today, all children will be judged by the content of their parent and also by their merit, not by color of their skin. In her dissent, Justice Sonia Sotomayor wrote the decision rolls back decades of precedent and momentous progress. As recently as 2016, the Supreme Court upheld using race as a factor in college admissions. Since then, the court's makeup has shifted sharply to the right with a 6-3 conservative majority. Writing for the court, Chief Justice John Roberts said universities can still consider an applicant's discussion of how race affected his or her life, be it through discrimination, inspiration, or otherwise. So we might see colleges and universities put more weight, for instance, on um, where did you grow up? Do your parents have graduate degrees? What zip code did you grow up in? Both UNC and Harvard said they will comply with the court's ruling, but are still committed to bringing together students with different life experiences. President Biden in his remarks today said one new standard universities could use could include taking into account adversity that a student has overcome. He also said that companies should not use today's decision to turn away from diversity. Jim and Marie. Brandon Washington, thank you.